Uh, I feel like God on my cog. Uh, Whoa, busting my ass, I know all things. Whoa, me, I've been working, I grind from the ground, and now you see my drip is so cog. Uh, let's go, let's go. Gosh, you know, be from the unknown. Said I gotta show that I'm with it. I got cuts, so not tell fast. I kill him, we all cut thoughts. Had to put the work in, show him what the work is. Came up from the bottom, now I'm up though. Hey, suck up at the trenches, now I'm on my lit shit. Give me serious one punch. Okay, okay. so around, I wanna say, two months ago, I posted a video called Best Roblox Beach Game of All Time, and it's not even close. And in this video, I basically took every single Beach Game on Roblox and I ranked that video did really well and it seemed to me like you guys really enjoyed that type of content so i figured you guys we have a new roblox naruto game on the horizon in the form of shindo life 3 why not do that same style of video except this time for naruto because there have been a whole bunch of naruto games that i myself have actually played and i love naruto games in general though yeah believe the intro at that if you're new to the channel i would appreciate it if you hit that sub button let's get straight to the Hey, this is the best. Oh, can y'all even see this? There we go. All right, that's better. Hey, this is the best Roblox Naruto game of all time. As y'all can see, I have pretty much every memorable Naruto game here. There are a few here y'all might not recognize, and there are a few here that you guys are definitely going to, but I'll start with the one that you guys are going to know. Endo Life. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm going to put Shindo Life at GOAT. So everybody watching this video obviously knows what Shindo Life is. This is the Roblox Naruto game that kinda made Roblox Naruto popular. And before y'all call me in the comments going, Chris, no it's not. There were games way older than this that made Naruto popular. What are you talking about? Let me just say, I don't know what games y'all are talking, actually I do, but the games that y'all are talking about were not hitting the numbers that Shindo Life was and is hitting. This game casually averaged hundreds of thousands of players for a little bit. I'm I'm sure if i go to its page right now it's at least 20 to 30 thousand and this is i think a year or two years maybe a year and a half two years and a half after the game actually released and it's still hitting these numbers no life if nothing else is definitely the best naruto game on this list as far as numbers if that's all you care about i would 100 leave it there for that reason alone i gotta put it at goats now don't get me wrong after the copyright i really just genuinely could not play shindo anymore and it's not even because i thought the game was bad it's just because i wanted to play a naruto game that's not what i was seeing anymore but prior to that this was one of if not my most played naruto game on roblox i did not get off this game and i sat there and streamed it every day for hours when i tell y'all i had a chronic addiction to what was it shinobi life 2 i think that's what it was called before this i i had a serious addiction y'all and i'm not even joking but yeah, with that being said i'm gonna leave that right there next game i'm gonna do on this list is naruto mighty and this is a game that i'm pretty sure none of you are going to know but i'm gonna put it at joni you know what i'm gonna put it at goats i feel like this is another one of the naruto games that was one of the goats so naruto mighty for those that don't know which i'm assuming is going to be the maddest majority you guys are watching right now it was a new roblox naruto game it was a closed community game which means it was like a closed was access type of thing where you had to actually be in the group and if you weren't you couldn't play the game was literally naruto on roblox i know that's a crappy description but that's really what it was it really felt like a naruto game you spawned in had a random village a random clan i'm pretty sure most of y'all can see from the clips i'm playing right now i was a uh, i forgot it was, it was a puppet i think it was kurogane i'm not sure i was the puppet clan jirogane that's what it's called but yeah the game was fire as hell there were wars actual kages clan abilities there were gates all kinds of jutsus you could actually scoop eyes out naruto mighty was just sick as hell i think it was probably the best looking r15 naruto game on roblox so i'm recording this afterwards but two things about naruto mighty that i forgot to mention were that it had tuning exams that were realistic as hell and summonings that were also cool as hell like imagine the actual summonings from naruto like the hawk and the frogs and all of those and just imagine them being in roblox they had really just done it the developers from mighty were crazy good the developers of this game have actually made a whole bunch of different games like mighty omega and they're working on a one piece game too which looks really really exciting but yeah that's naruto mighty i'm not gonna say too much about that seeing as most of y'all watching literally have no clue what this game is next up i'm gonna be doing shinobi origin so this i'm gonna put at joni i feel like this is one of the best naruto games on roblox but the game had some problems i won't lie at first this was definitely my favorite naruto game I literally could not stop playing this. It was fun as hell. But I felt like as the game dragged on, it just it, it got so buggy and boring and repetitive. It just wasn't worth playing. I feel like this was a really, really big changing point for the Curve Brothers because this game was fun as hell. It was a really, really fun game, really well made. I'm not gonna say too much about this because I'm pretty sure most of y'all actually forgot this, but it was a damn good game. I'm not gonna lie. I'll leave it at Jonin for now. Next up, I have Naruto Beyond, and I'm putting this at GOATS. I'm sorry, I'm sure 
sure some of y'all might get angry at me, but this, just like Shindo Life, is the Naruto game that really made Naruto what it was on Roblox. I remember I used to come home from school and I actually used to just hop on Beyond. Like there was literally no other Naruto game or anime game in general I'd play, it was just Beyond. The game was fun as hell, especially if you were a little kid like me, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think this was what, six, seven, eight years ago? Obviously a very long time, but it was really, really unique for the time when it came out. I remember what really popularized this game was the different clans, like you had to actually spin for everything. You could get all the different Renegon, the different Sharingan. This is when the Kirby Brothers really started going crazy, I won't lie. Next up we have Shinobi Life, and I think this is also another Jonin game. I don't remember too much about Shinobi Life. I'm pretty sure this is when the Kirby Brothers started doing actual Susano and like the Wood Golem that Hashirama used and all that, but I don't remember too much about it. I do have to say though, I'm pretty sure I did enjoy Shinobi Life as I remember recording a whole bunch of content on it, so I'm gonna get that Jonin for now. Next up we have Shinobi Life 2, and once again I gotta put this at GOATS. I really, really enjoyed this game. Shinobi Life 2 was fun as hell, and for the time that it came out, it was very unique. I gotta say, the Rail Brothers, as far as creativity, really, really did come in with a different sense of Naruto with this game. Up until the copyright strike. I'm not gonna say too much about Shinobi Life 2 though, because it's basically just uncopyrighted Shindo Life, so I'll leave that one there as well. Next up we got NL2. This is another closed community Naruto game. I didn't actually play this one, but it looks so fun. I'm gonna leave it at GOATS, but I can't really say too much about it, seeing as I didn't play it. This is one of the original Naruto games of Roblox, so I'm pretty sure it was made by Raguzer, if I'm not mistaken, who was made Deep Woken, Rogue Lineage. Except we got Battle Tendency, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know what this game is. It was a closed community Naruto game I used to record a whole bunch of videos on, and I'm actually just gonna put this at Academy Student, because this was just a copy, but yeah, the game, it, wasn't that bad. And we have Shinobi Storm. This is like a Battlegrounds type Naruto game. It's it's nothing crazy. It's decent. It's it's all right. I'll just I'll leave it there. It's a cool little Battlegrounds game with some fun abilities and unique characters, but the combat's not anything crazy. So, but yeah, that has been my Naruto game tier list. Do you guys disagree? Agree? Let me know down below. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Later.